Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and today I have a little bit of a different video to share and it's all about my old sewing machine and my older sewing machine. So um, for many, many years you all have seen this machine in the background of my videos and at me actually sewing on it in some of my videos. Um, I lovingly call it Frankie and I purchased Frankie at a thrift store when I was in my senior year of college many, many years ago um, for, I forget if it was $2.50 or $4.50, um, one of the two. So a very cheap price and um, I'm not even sure why I bought the machine in the first place because I kind of think of it as being pretty ugly, but I am so glad that I did buy it because it has been my favorite machine for almost 11 years now. Um, Frankie sews very, very fast, and that's what I love. Um, I like to sew as quickly as possible because that means I can get more done. Um, however, Frankie has been having some problems for over a year now, and so it's time for me to move on to a different machine um, for at least a little while until I can do some work on Frankie because all that I have done on that machine in the past 11 years is oil it twice. I'm not a very good machine owner. <laughs> I don't get them worked on or anything like that. I just, um, there's my phone. I just, um, you know, use them and use them and use them. Anyway, so in today's video, I wanted to um, talk about what I know about Frankie, like um, where it was made and all that, as well as some information on this machine here. Um, and I just thought it'd be fun to share because you will be seeing a new machine in the background of my videos. So anyway, um, Frankie is a machine that was made in the 60s in Japan. Um, as it was intended to be a knockoff of the Singer sewing machines. Um, they were mass produced and sold with just about any nameplate you can imagine. So they would just stick some random name on it and sell it at some box store. So, um, you know, there's been a ton of people who would have a machine similar to mine and say, oh, I have that machine, it's a such and such, and then someone would come along a few weeks later and say, I have that exact same machine, it's a such and such, and everybody would call it a different name. And that's because they were sold under just about every other name under the sun. My machine, however, came to me without a nameplate. So I have never known what name it was sold under originally or what store it was sold at. Um, all I could track down was it was from the 60s. Then there was a viewer who came along and said they found my exact machine at a thrift store. Like, looked just like it. And they sent me a picture and it was almost my machine. The only difference is the little plate here looked just a little bit different. Um, but using their information, I was able to track down an identical machine as mine. Um, so yeah, I finally did find one exact machine to mine on the internet. So that was really cool. Anyway, um, that's all beside the point. So, um, as I mentioned, Frankie is a very fast sewing machine, um, but there has been some problems going on with the motor. So the motor is actually going out, and um, about a year ago it had started where it would spark um, when I first pushed the pedal down. It would spark and then it would start running. Um, now it pretty much sparks the entire time it's in use, and um, when I push the pedal down, um, nine times out of ten nothing happens and I have to turn the hand wheel toward me to get the motor to actually engage and start running the machine. That's a hassle, especially if you're working on something with small details or curves or something that you have to be really precise about. Um, so, you know, you're one hand down because I'm having to turn the wheel while I'm trying to guide my fabric in or whatever I'm doing. And um, so it's just not fun to do and um, it's I'm concerned that one day the motor will just give out which is probably going to happen soon um, so there you can definitely replace motors on sewing machines like this and that is my eventual plan um, I'm going to have my mom help me change it because she's changed the motors on some machines before um, 
But until we get around to doing that, I will be using this machine. It is a Singer 201-2 that I am borrowing from my mom. She has two different 201-2 machines. Um, this one is from 1951 and she has another one from 1957. So it is at least 10 years older than the machine that I've been using, um, but I'm really excited about it. Um, the thing that I have to get used to is threading it because I can thread Frankie here in about 10 seconds. Um, I've just gotten that used to it. This one threads just a little bit differently including um, the uptake lever is just a hole whereas on Frankie there is a little um, like slit that you can slide the thread down into. This is a hole so you actually have to thread it like you would a needle um, so that will take some getting used to. And it also uses a different bobbin. It uses the bobbins that are a little bit curved um, and it's a set-in bobbin. I've never had a machine with a set-in bobbin before. So um, those things will take some getting used to, but this one sews almost as fast as Frankie does. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to be on a machine that works properly. And um, yeah, so I'm going to have a lot of fun with this one. It is a very nice looking machine as well. I like the black color. Sorry, Frankie. So I am very excited to have a new, new, um, better working machine and I'll be playing around with it some to make sure I get the hang of it and everything since I've been using the same machine for the majority of the last 11 years. You know, it'll take a little getting used to a new machine, but I am excited and I'm looking forward to using it on future projects. Um, I of course have some other like more modern machines, but man, I love vintage machines so much. They are um, solid and built to last and they're just amazing. So anyway, you'll be seeing this one in the background of some of my upcoming videos and um, yeah if you have any questions about either machine feel free to leave them below oh my mom also does this really cool thing with all her machines so my mom and I both have several vintage machines of our own and um, there is a website you can go to, I'll see if I can link it down below, where if it's a Singer machine, you can go and type in the like serial number and it will give you like a printed out certificate with your name on it showing um, that it's a Singer machine and all that and the year that it was manufactured in. And that's how we know so much about the Singer machines that we own is from that website, which is really cool. I'm glad that resource is out there so we can pinpoint exactly like how old our machines are and all of that. Um, it's just fun to know things like that. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video even though it's kind of uh, a random one. And yeah, I will see you all again soon. Bye.